Well, today is December 18th, up here at the 20 acres. And uh, we're seeing some deer in here. You see back in here is where I got the, the oats and the buck brunch planted, and then over here as well. This, this field here is looking really good. That little patch there that we did in the buck brunch, that, that looks real good. This stuff uh, out here in the field, you know, that I laid down, I'm starting to see some deer activity out here, which is which is good. You know, we haven't really seen much of anything. Looks like they're finally starting, now that I've got this knocked on the ground, they're starting to uh, find it and uh, do something about it. It's starting to come in here and eat on it. Um, it it's, been, it's been strange down here. I don't really have an explanation for why the deer have disappeared. Normally I'd come out into this field after hunting, you know, way down here, and uh, I'd have 13, 15 deer in this field every night uh, eating corn. But there's nothing going on right now. So you see, they're they're opening it up. They're, they're getting in here and eating it. So this is this is really good. This is what I wanted to see. Not as much as I'd like to see, but uh, you said they're getting in here, and there we are started to eat on it so there's just tons and tons of corn in here and uh, this will definitely carry them through the winter what few deer I got coming over and then this plot here is it's looking fairly good I don't know if you can see down there the tall heads that's all the wheat and the, the oats are all Headed out down there, got full seed heads on them. Austrian winter peas are starting to climb up, and, so that's doing really well. This, uh, this here, and yeah, so I've got some Austrian winter pea here. I see a whole lot of brassica, a little bit of clover. Mostly, it's going to be cereal grains. Uh, deer tracks in here, but not like I would like to see. I don't see a whole lot in here that's been uh, grazed on. But this will get them through. You know, I get a lot of questions on that field tough cedar and how well it does uh, no-till. So I came down here when this was really wet and uh, I no-tilled this. I just ran the cedar through here. And uh, you kind of see now that the grass is dying off and I've mowed this once. Um, you kind of see the results that you'll get if you try to uh, no-till with that field tough cedar. I mean, you'll get a little bit, as you can see through here. Uh, it does come up. Everything bright green in here is, uh, is from the brassica mix. And uh, but it's it's sparse to say the best. Um, it we got a little bit of radish. Radish just seem to survive the best, I think. But I've got a little bit of cereal grain. Um, so yeah, it just doesn't uh, it doesn't do very well. There's just no way to close the trench. So the seed sits there, and I think it just rots. So this stuff here was the buck brunch and uh, the deer in here eating on this stuff They're eating more of the dandelions they are anything else but the, you see all the wheat and the oats are all headed out seeded out but nothing in here really you know touching anything I've got uh, Austrian winter peas starting to climb and, Beautiful stuff. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of food in here for them. And there are some tracks out here. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but I would really expect to see a whole hell of a lot more than this. At any rate, the bottom field, we just really haven't. Uh, I don't see anything happening down there. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I drove around there looking for you know, signs that they're getting into the corn that I've laid on the ground and they're just, just really not doing it. Nothing like up here. And 
this field here. I mean, they're, they're really, really getting into it well here.